Alright guys, this is DWAC, those are the calls, those are the puts. Everyone lost um, almost everything on that, on that fraud scam. The only people that made money were the CBOE and the market makers, who orchestrated the whole thing with the CEO uh, and executives of DWAC. Uh, the fact that neither side made money today is proof of the fraud. They postponed it from two days ago, which they shouldn't even have been allowed. Today was the, or sorry, yesterday was the actual date, inked, inked in paper, when they were supposed to um, complete everything, one way or the other, good or bad. Uh, and now they've extended it. They said they extended it to Columbus Day, but I read the filing and it actually says into this December. So they're gonna, so what are they gonna do? Around Columbus Day, they're gonna start pumping and playing both sides and then it's gonna be the same thing. And then December, the same thing, and then three more months. Uh, here's a thought, either make the company TMTG or or DSPAC and absolve. What, what, what is going on here? What is What is actually going on here? Um, AGEXT or whatever it was, AXTG, $5 to $1,200 to $5 in three days. Three days. Jay-Z opening a $5 IPO, opening at $170 and going down to 5 bucks in what, two days? You, you cannot play this. You cannot play this market. Shorts, you lose. Longs, you lose. It doesn't matter. You can have a bunch of wicked ass solid plays and and then one rug pull and it just er it erodes time. It erases the time. It erases all of the gains that you've made. It's supposed to be a bear market and the SPY rallies on a Fed rate hike increase with one more to go for the year, three more scheduled for next year, and three to four scheduled for the following year. Rate hikes, hikes. Never-ending hikes. Energy crises all over. Food crises. Inflation crises. Um, so the SPY, same thing. Starts the week off like 400, tanks to 3. Now it's back to 406. It actually gapped up. It gapped up last night. Gapped up. It's a fraud. It's all a scam, all for the options chain money. It's it's crooked. How do you play it? Crypto crypto might be what I'm switching to just in the interim because uh, the volatility might might be an opportunity to, to make some cash. And there's no options chain on crypto. There's whales. There's whales that run it, but there's no options chain. So I, I really don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I'm supposed to go fishing. Here this week, so I'm probably taking a break. I mean, I didn't live today. I didn't. I didn't live yesterday. Um, if you want to see me around, let me know. I mean, I, I I will be around if you guys want me. I think, but if if it's a bad day, I don't. I don't need. I don't want to be on. Um, I I'm a person just like anybody else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, it, it, it was a basically a, the, the DWAC thing really threw me for a loop there, um, and just just the, seeing that both sides it's it's completely like we're talking ninety five percent red on both sides. I was actually up quite a bit yesterday, uh, and I held because I I I thought okay this they they told us this day this is what executives told us executives did not say they did not say okay we 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 were we are probably going to do an extension guys uh the votes aren't panning out we're probably going to do an extension we need to put this meeting off but that's where we're leaning no they know where they're they know where they're leaning for f sakes they know they knew it's not a mystery tell the market what you intend to do so we can make decisions you cannot trade options after hours you can't do it 
So everyone got smoked. That was the whole point. So, anyways, enjoy your weekend. I'm not going to be around uh, for live stream next week. I will uh, potentially drop some videos. Frankly, I, I don't give an F about this Biden market. Any way, shape, or form. I, I don't care. It's garbage. It's fucking garbage. And, uh, you know, potentially another two years of straight garbage and, and fraud. Blatant fraud, okay? The whole ape thing, anything runs, anything, guys. Anything runs, they create a, a bogus ticker out of thin air, and then they half the stock price. And they, uh, there's like a billion eight to 500 million AMC. So it's, for starters, why would you need to split it anyways? How's that a dividend? What what did the shareholders get? The shareholders got negative equity, negative value. <laughs> they also got more work. They have to pay attention to two tickers, not one. They have to pay attention to, to two MACDs, two RSIs, two... All sorts of all sorts of different things they have to pay attention to. And there's no actual company ape. Yet it trades all on its own. They will do that with any ticker going forward. What are the chances? The ch what are the chances of you catching a short squeeze? Like like phase, for example. 950 SI. Sorry. 950 CTP. SI through the roof. Okay. And it's only up 2%. What does that tell you? The shorts know they're going to win. That's why they piled in. That's why the SI is 150. It's like TBLT all over again. The shorts know something's up. They know they're going to win. I don't, I, I could short it. Clearly, they know something I don't. I could short it. I'm not going to. I am not going to. Can't take a position on anything here. Can't do it. It's impossible. There's no money to be made. It's too risky. Who knows what they will do. Just another example. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I've had it with this market myself right now.